Hey, what's up, guys? It's the Sivart uh, back again. Um, I have another tutorial. This one is on um, shooting, as you probably already know. Um, I'm gonna show you in this one how to not only shoot towards um, your direction where you're looking, but also up and down where you're looking. So. Um, I've been getting a lot of requests about that because my last one on shooting only showed you how to shoot straight, uh, not up and down as well. So um, hopefully you can uh, get a lot of help from this. So um, first thing I'm doing here, of course, um, is I'm making my scope sprite. I'm also gonna make a little scope for you, um, just drawing this picture on the earth though. So um, we're gonna be using the same uh, base uh, 3D engine that we started with last time. So, um, you shouldn't have too much problem with that. Um, now wait, this will, this engine will not work in just any, um, game. You, you, you can't just plug this into any 3D game and hope that it'll shoot. Uh, it has to be the specific, um, view engine and code, uh, just because of how it's set up. You can look at, um, you can look at other codes for other, um, view engines, but I found this one to be the easiest, so. I would definitely recommend me uh, you using this uh, view and um, gun engine. So anyway, uh, now I've finished the sprite and I've made my uh, objects. I'm in the Earth object now in the draw event. Um, D3D set protection Earth, of course. That's what you just need to set up. And then color white and lighting false. These are just defaults you must set. Um, because otherwise you might get uh, all of your sprites black. Now, in this case, it's already black, but still, very important. So, draw a sprite scope, of course, in the middle of the screen. I already centered it, so we should be good. Um, and of course, also, depth has to equal minus a lot, because it needs to be above absolutely everything. Otherwise, you have major problems with the drawing. So, back in the creation event of our uh, main object player, uh, gonna create our um, Eartho object. Um, just doesn't really matter where. So anyway, now in step, we have to make it create our bullet object whenever I click the mouse, right? So, of course, if mouse button check and be left pressed, otherwise we're gonna create a million bullets and we don't really want that, unless you do. Um, so, ver ob obj or object, um, that's very important um, because um, you could create it as an all-time variable, but that uses up unwanted space. So I'm just going to cre have it um, create a one-time variable, so it'll only be um, usable in this step. So then I have it um, equal the instance create of our object, so it'll equal that object, the current bullet. So now then I can um, change its variables such as um, Z and Zender to be whatever I want it to be. So um, Z is 50, that's exactly where I'm gonna start, and then Z dir is um, how I'm gonna make it go up and down. This is the harder part, uh, the part where most people get messed up on. So, um, it's just a little bit of math here. Z2 minus Z divided by 100, divided by a, um, object speed. So, it's not exactly that easy, but um, if you can understand that, then it should be pretty easy. It's just uh, simple math, so to figure it out. I could go into the length, but I'm not your math teacher, so. Um, now we're in the creation event. We're not, we're in step. Um, our object. Draw set color black. I want the bolt to be black. So now I'm gonna draw our elapse site because I haven't really found any other shape to be very bold like. Um, X minus one, Y minus one, Z minus one. Uh, simple, again, to draw an object. If you don't understand it, then you can just copy the code, but I highly suggest that you look into what each variable does. Um, so anyway, here I test it. As you can see in this first test, um, the bullets shoot nicely, perfectly exactly where I want them, but the scope didn't work. So we're gonna, uh, so here, I didn't quite get it in the first shot. I looked around to see what was wrong with my code. I couldn't really find anything. Kind of baffled me a bit. 
Um, so I went in at uh, my depth. I kind of made it too much, um, which can be the cause of errors. So here's the final thing. Worked perfectly. Um, this is non sped up. This is the final thing. So I hope you like this. I certainly do. Um, it's a perfect shooting engine. I haven't added any collisions here so far. It's just shooting straight towards your object. So as you can see, no matter where you look, it'll always shoot exactly on your scope, which is pretty nice. So there we go. That's it for this tutorial. Goodbye.